The ins and outs of Coinbase Pro. Let's go. Shane here, thanks for stopping by my channel. So today we're gonna to look into the platform Coinbase Pro. I've had a lot of questions about it, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a video on it. Also, it's the Into to Win video for my free Bitcoin giveaway, Bitcoin Friday. So stay tuned for details on how you can enter this week's contest. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell and setting all notifications. And if you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. Let's get into it. So Coinbase Pro, what is it? How do we navigate through it? Well, that's the topic of today's video. I'm going to show you guys the ins and outs, how to buy, sell, trade, deposit, withdraw, things of that nature. And of course, I'm going to show you guys how to enter my free Bitcoin giveaway. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the computer and see what Coinbase Pro is all about. All right, so here we are on Coinbase Pro. As usual, everything I'm talking about will be down below this video, so don't worry about searching for any of this information. The most trusted platform for trading cryptocurrency, Coinbase Pro offers the individual the ability to trade a variety of digital assets on a secure insurance-backed platform. This is one of the main draw features to this platform is insurance-backed. If we scroll down here, uh, insurance protection, all digital assets held in the online storage are fully insured. All USD balances are covered by FDIC insurance up to a maximum of $250,000 per customer. If you guys like the insurance aspect of these platforms, which I think most of you guys probably do. So let's go ahead and log in here real quick. All right, so here we are on the platform. Once you log in, this is the page you will be hit with. Now, if you don't have a Coinbase Pro account, it is actually linked up with the standard Coinbase.com account. So if you have a Coinbase.com account, you have a Coinbase Pro account. So the same username and password to get into Coinbase Pro is one you would use for Coinbase.com. Again, if you guys are interested in Coinbase.com and Coinbase Pro, link will be down below for you guys to go ahead and sign up. It's free. So again, once you're logged in right here, you're gonna go over to your profile, which again should carry over from Coinbase Pro. And you can click on any one of these to get to the settings. Banking, this is where your banking information would be. Again, carried over from Coinbase. Uh, limits, these are your weekly bank transfer limit and daily withdrawal limit. Pretty standard information right there. API settings, if you have your own piece of software, your own program, and you need to pull uh, some information from Coinbase Pro, this is where you would go to set that up. Address book here, so you do a couple of trades and you don't want to send that money back over to Coinbase. This is where you can enter your own personal wallets. Like I've got one right here for my Exodus wallet and there's my address for Exodus. So when you do a trade, you can actually have the option of sending it right to your Exodus wallet or whatever wallet you list in there. All you have to do is click on add new addresses. And then of course you can pick whichever cryptocurrency address you would like here. They're all listed right there. So that's how you set up your own addresses statements. As you can see, I have none here because I really don't use Coinbase Pro. Uh, tax information, pretty straightforward. They are going to be offering margin trading in the future, but you have to get on a wait list right now and it's only a 3X leverage. So if you guys are interested in that kind of thing, they will be rolling that out throughout 2020. You can, like I said, you can go ahead and join the wait list if that's something you're interested in. So let's head back over to trade. So like I said earlier, this is really easy if you guys wanted to start trading on here. Although me personally, I don't. There's not much functionality at all in this chart. You can only select one minute all the way up to one day as far as the view on the graph here. You can choose between candles and lines and the 12 and 26 day moving average and that is about it. It's not like a trading view type of deal which is right here where you can go ahead and pull up Fibonacci lines and things of that nature. That's not here and available on their actual chart. So to go ahead and deposit some Bitcoin, if you want to go ahead and get started, just click on deposit right there, Bitcoin. And as you can see, Coinbase.com is an option to where you can instantly transfer money from your Coinbase account right to here. 
to get up and start trading. So let's just say 0 0.001. That's all I want to go ahead and transfer over. And then you just go ahead and scroll down and processing time it's instantaneous because it's coming right out of your coinbase account there are no fees so you just click on deposit and it's pretty much instantaneous and as you can see right here 0 0.001 i have bitcoin in my account if i wanted to go ahead and trade with it to withdraw pretty much the same thing click on bitcoin if that's what you're wanting to withdraw and you can send it right back to coinbase right there so we go 0 0.001 and again, there are no fees on this. Processing time is instant, so go ahead and click withdraw. And click done, and now you can see the BTC is gone. So that's as easy as it is to deposit and withdraw your cryptocurrencies on this exchange, at least if you're going to Coinbase. Now, if you're going to your own personal wallet, there will be a little confirmation times and things like that. All right, so trading fee structure. If we go over to here right here, here's the fee structure. Up to 10,000, I think that would pretty much envelop most of us out there. There's a half a percent taker fee and a half a percent maker fee. The taker fee is basically you're going to execute a trade at the current market value of Bitcoin, which right now, if we go over to right here, so if you executed a trade at 686.17, your fee would be 0 0.50 because you're doing it at the market value, current market value. Maker fee is where if you said, I want to go ahead and sell my Bitcoin at say 7K, then you're going to wait for the actual market to go up to 7K and then you would go ahead and sell and that would be your fee right there. So take your fee, instantaneous current market price, make your fee at some point in the future at a price that you set and determine. Those are the different fee structures right there. And these fees really aren't that bad in my experience. So let's head back over to the platform. The different markets you can go into right here, you've got US dollar paired assets, US dollar coin paired assets, of course the Bitcoin paired assets, DAI has only got Ethereum, the one paired asset, and Ethereum only has two, BAT, basic attention token, and LINK. So mainly for if I was going to go ahead and trade, I would just be trading on the BTC markets right here. So if you wanted to go ahead and trade, say Litecoin, you just click on Litecoin. Then you can go ahead and buy Litecoin from this point. Or if you had Litecoin already, you can go ahead and sell. Of course, there's markets, there's limits, there's stops, things of that nature. If you guys are interested in more in-depth trading, how I do it, the little lady style video should be popping up here shortly. But for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to get into all the market limits, stops, and all things like that. This is just a brief overview of Coinbase Pro. So over here on orders, pretty much a no-brainer. Just your current orders open, filled, and fees associated with whatever orders that you had. Portfolio, this is where you can set up your own portfolios, you get one default portfolio, and then I just created one called Fish. All you'd have to do is go ahead and click Create, have your own nickname, and you'd be good to go on that. And then of course, this just shows the value of all your cryptocurrency in your portfolio. But as you can see, I don't use Coinbase Pro, so I've got nothing in here. So that is going to be pretty much it for Coinbase Pro. Pretty much a bare bones type of exchange. I really think Coinbase only has this exchange to make it easier for them to buy and sell cryptocurrencies over there on their actual coinbase.com without going through a third party like a KuCoin or a Binance or something of that nature. That's basically why they have Coinbase Pro. All right, so if you guys have any additional questions or comments, be sure to put them down below. I'll do my best to answer them and I will definitely get back to you. But now, let's go ahead and hop over to my website and I'll show you guys how to enter this week's Bitcoin Fridays. All right, so here we are in thecryptofish.com. Go ahead and enter your email address right there. Click subscribe. YouTube doesn't always notify you guys of my interest to win videos that do come out every week. Granted, Bitcoin is above 7K. Now I am going out on a limb here. You can see Bitcoin is below 7K, but I figured the morale out there is kind of low, so I went ahead and dropped my 7K deal for now. And hopefully it'll actually go up above 7K here in the future. So like I said, just enter your email address, subscribe. That way you'll get the notifications every week when the Instant to Win video does come out. 
So Bitcoin Friday's free Bitcoin giveaway for 24, 2020. Let's go ahead and click on that. And if you go ahead and scroll down right here, there's one question you're gonna to have to answer it correctly and there's only one correct answer so it's really a no-brainer so the question is as it is every week what is this video about let's go ahead and answer that when you do that enter your name and email address in the form that will be provided you'll have to go verify your email then it'll bring you back here where you can get additional chances to win this week's contest by watching a video following me on various social media things of that nature it's just another way for you guys to get a better chance at winning the contest from week to week. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, be sure to check out my little old lady trading technique. The latest video should be popping up here shortly if you guys are interested in how I do my trading. Any additional questions or comments, be sure to put them down below. I will get back to you. I want to thank you guys for watching today, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.